Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Okay, dang, it's been like a hot, 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 hot minute since I um, last like sat down to film a video. Just recently, there were things that were going on in my life that I realized like I should probably sit down and film a video. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me in PCB. I, um, I really wanted to get the water in the background, but that's a hotel. The water in the background but the lighting does not allow for that. Today I'm going to be just doing simple, simple makeup. So it should be like a fast little get ready with me. I just got new foundation and primer, so. I use the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I love this one, so. But yeah, I just wanted to talk with y'all and tell y'all what's been going on, so. If y'all don't already know, I'm like on a nine week. I'm on a nine week discipleship program. In, oh my gosh in Panama City Beach so that's why I'm over here and that's why it's kind of been a little difficult to be regular with posting videos or whatever okay so I got this extension it's like pink I don't know if you can see it and it's like ugh. I think it's time to take it out because it's like creating grody like little flakes in my hair and it does not look very good but oh also I got eyelash extensions if you cannot tell because my eyelashes are not naturally this voluptuous. But yeah, I'm on a nine week discipleship program, which is why, and, and I have a full time job, which is why it's so hard for me to um, be regular with these vlogs because I just don't have a lot of time because after my job I go and do activities and stuff. So I'm using this new foundation. It's Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. It's just a shake, shake it. So let's see, I've been wanting like a lighter coverage and I just ran out of. Oh yeah, if y'all don't know what this is, the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I've literally used it to where the point looks super crusty. It's like 11 bucks. It's like my favorite, favorite foundation to wear every single day. But I wanted to be bougie and my mom bought me like expensive makeup. So I was like, I'm gonna get Becca cause I like primer, so whatever. Um, for those of y'all who don't know what Kaleo is, it's basically just like a, it's really, this is really weird. I'm not digging this applicator. And then I use like this Morphe brush to blend it all in. Kaleo is basically like, it's a nine week discipleship program in PCB. And um, we basically come down here for the summer and then we get jobs and learn about our faith, how to share the gospel or whatever. So, and how to read the Bible. Just It's just like a church camp kind of, but not at the same time and just more stream. It's, it's really hard to explain unless you can do it, but I love it and I'm having the time of my life. It's a lot, but man, I, I love it so much. About what caused me to create this video. So, I don't know if you'll know Samantha. I'll pop a picture of her on the screen. I love her to death. Um, <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. So, I am working in Rosemary. Yeah. Rosemary Trading Co. in Florida. And Samantha is my coworker. We carpool. So on Wednesday morning, we were driving to work. And when we turned on 230A, which is the road that our our job is at, she actually, well, we turned and I looked to my right and there was an 18 wheeler coming for us and we got hit. So really scary, I know. It sounds a lot worse than I actually am. But it was a really, really crazy experience, and I really don't know how I'm so okay right now. So that's why I'm actually able to like sit down and talk to y'all because I have to, I took a few days off from work because I am really sore. I don't know if you can see here. I have like this abrasion. I think that's what they call it from the seatbelt, and I have a really bad one on my leg. Let me see if I can show y'all. It's just right there. I have a really bad one there, and then I have on my stomach but besides that I am perfectly okay but I think that was like the scariest moment in my life and I hope it'll be the scariest moment because I can't imagine anything scarier than that happening to me but I honestly just want to skip glory to God for a little while because well for the rest of my life because I don't think that that's normal <laughs> I was literally um I was doing my bible study in the car while she was driving and um I hear her scream 
so I, I look up from my Bible study, look to the right, and then the 18 wheeler is like right here, and then it just hits us, and the car just spins out. And I got, I'll put some pictures in right now, but I got hit directly by that 18 wheeler, and I was really scared. Like it was took a minute for me to process what was actually happening, but once I did, I was like freaked out. I was like my legs hurt because I couldn't see my legs because the airbags had gone off and one had deflated into my lap. I was really scared that my legs were gonna be like impaled or something. I don't know, I was just thinking crazy things at the moment because I mean, what else are you supposed to think whenever you just got hit by an wheeler? But I looked down and my bag was at my feet and literally the car had caved into the point where it was touching my bag, but my feet were fine. Like it was just the crazy realization when I realized that like I'm gonna, I'm alive and I'm okay. Oh, Samantha was okay too, by the way. She, um had a more direct hit to her face and her neck is like hurting a lot more than mine is but um I was talking to my friend Nikki and she probably said that was because I don't know if I'll know this but drunk drivers whenever they get hit they have a more a higher survival percentage I don't know what this is called they have a higher survival rate whenever they get into car wrecks because they're so relaxed whenever the car hits that their body doesn't have time to tense up and that's kind of what happened to me because I wasn't paying attention. I didn't have time to like freak out or tense up. My body was just relaxed when I got hit. So I think that also really saved me some pain. But God is just so good. And I just cannot believe that I'm here to talk about the story like two days after it happened. So yeah, but that's like a big thing that happened to me. I just keep on replaying that moment in my head. And it's just insane that we were so okay with what happened. But yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna be in Florida for nine more weeks. No, for three more weeks. Two and a half, closer to two and a half more weeks. And then I'm going to New York and I am so pumped to go to New York, y'all. Like, the vlogs are gonna be awesome. And I do need to post more vlogs, but I'm gonna probably post this video before I post any other vlog, just so that I can catch up with y'all and y'all know what's going on, so. Yee. I also wanted to say thank you to Samantha because I don't know what I would have done in that situation. Shout out to her dad for getting her such a safe car because that car also helped save our lives. Yeah, anyway, that's basically all I have for this video. I mean, this is all I'm really doing to get ready. So, that was getting ready with me and PCB. Really anticlimactic, I know. But yeah, thank y'all so much for um, watching this. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm so close to 100 subscribers and I'm really excited about that. So. Um, yeah, thank you again. I hope y'all have a great day. Oh, and also stay safe wear your seatbelt. Thank y'all. I love y'all so much. And yeah, see you next time. Ooh.